Hello and welcome to Top of the World. If it's your first time, I'm Simon. And this pipe here, that's been lying there for uh, mm, over a year. And today's the day I've got to do something with it. What is it and what am I going to do with it? Well, it's a piece of stainless steel tube. The steel plate welded to it. I've managed to acquire quite clearly from the silicon angle. It's been on a reef now. The pandemic is kind of not coming to an end because the governments aren't quite ready to release all their slaves yet, but they're going to start releasing some of them and therefore the borders are going to open. And when the borders open, everybody that should have been here in the summer is going to arrive in the autumn, right at a time when I am really fighting against everything to get everything cleared up and wrapped up before the big freeze. And now I have to do this. Did I have time to do it before? No. I virtually had no time to... Um, now there's a distraction. There's a honey badger. It's not really a honey badger, but there is a honey badger. Let me turn the camera around. I hardly see him. Anyway, where was I? Right. So this, I've got to get down. This is stainless steel. This is uh, fit for purpose. What I've got is I've got a structure that I've built and put a hot tub in it. And uh, that the hot tub chimney's got to go through the roof. Uh, there's a number of pipes, insulated pipes, double insulated pipes, cows, that I can buy at great expense. Or I can use the most expensive piece of stainless steel tube I found and make that into a chimney. The advantage to this is, is it's high and I can get it up above the roof. Um, because where the chimney exits the roof is quite low down on the pitch and I want to get this up. Anyway, so I'll get it down, clean it up, see what we've got and then, then come up with a plan. That's what we're going to do. Too heavy. That's way, way, way too heavy. Hello! Hello! It's a shame I ain't got some of that, then. Hello! 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 Wouldn't that make just a great cannon? It would. That would make a fucking noise, wouldn't it? That would make a great noise. I have got another idea. I don't know how this is going to go. It's still quite early in the morning. I have this knocking around for my own entertainment. <coughs> That's funny. That's quite loud. And I was at the other end of that. Yeah, it seems a shame to use that now. Right. Hi, man. I'm very concerned about the weight of this. I'm very concerned about the weight of that. Thank you. 
Papi, é o joelho. We might have to run a bit of an experiment on that. See what will take it off best. Hmm. Oh, I quite like that finish. I've got to say. Yeah. Well, I'm going to clean this up like that and see what it looks like. It's got an end on this, so I'm going to have to cut that off because I don't want that. And the idea is, is the um, smaller chimney goes through there and then I'll pack it out to stop the heat transfer to insulate the pipe. But before I go too far, perhaps I should go and get a section of the pipe that's got to go through it just to make sure. Good idea. All right. So this is the task. And that's put that chimney up through that roof. I mean, it's quite near this support, so. Let's have a look from the outside. So that's, that's where we are. But I think it's so heavy. I think it's gonna need guide wires from the top there. So what we need is the rest of the chimney. Yeah. Okay, I think then best we we take this back and um, looks good. This has been built a couple of years now, and the owners still haven't seen it or been able to use it. So um, yeah, I've got to I've got to get this done now. All right, let's take this section back then and then uh, see how we're going to figure that lot into there. And this was the idea. Yeah, that's going to work. All right. Okay. The larger chimney, the small going into the large is also going to help it draw. I think. Is that right? Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. And then we'll pack in insulation down there, but we, it would be done at the other end. So this would be the top. And then all I have to do is somehow enlarge that hat. Go on top of there. Right, that's the plan. Let's clean it up.
Okay, so now the paint's dry. I fitted the hood, pop riveted that, drilled and pop riveted that onto there. I had to break this free of um, its spot welds from its original housing, but it's the right size and it'll work nicely. Uh, right, next job is to put another line of uh, holes in there, ready to fix it to the roof, and then make the step down plate for the angle of the roof to make sure this sits upright. All right, we're deep into the afternoon of today now, and um, I've just delivered the chimney, and uh, it's cold. It's coming, it's definitely coming. Anyway, it's too cold to get up on that roof now, so install will have to be tomorrow, it's just too late. But um, I'll show you where I'm up to. So as well as putting the hat on, I've also secured the tensioning cable, stainless steel cable, and that has to be attached from where the chimney's gonna go through there up to there and the reason for that being is here in the arctic you can have up to one and a half two meters of snow and that will compact and turn to ice you can have a lot of weight behind the chimney like that so uh, we'll put a guide wire up there but i plumb bobbed the uh center of the hole and then above that i've drilled a hole right the way through so uh then tomorrow we'll get up on the roof and we'll cut out the right size hole at the right angle, we hope, for that to come through. Um, I've drilled an additional three holes on the leading edge and I've got the profile for the metal. So um, we should be able to get that in. And we haven't done anything on the backside yet because I didn't want to make anything and then prop it up. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Uh, yeah. Where are we? There. There's the hole coming through. So we should be all right. And that'll work quite nicely with the brushed stainless in there. It's all quite clean, really. I'm pretty sure there's enough wood there. Um, and then the other little job I've got to do, which I haven't done yet, is uh, make up a grill for this. So what you didn't see was when I was building this, underneath this, right underneath all those rocks, there's a tube that goes down and sits just inside the perimeter wall there for a fresh air feed into the bottom of this. Um, and then this hood going out. And the idea of that is, is I didn't want to smoke this building out. So if I've got a fresh air feed underneath and an exhaust going out, um, it should be quite smokeless in here. I need to have a little bit of a sweep up. Um, the Burt's benches that I did just look fantastic. And there's a little bit of movement there, but overall, superb. These have been here a year now. Uh, this is pre-channel. So um, I made up the brackets underneath and this is all birch benching that's just oiled. Uh, so anyway, there we are, we're ready to install that. So I've got to install that. There is drainage underneath, but we're going to have problems because he wants to have this going in November. Well, that's, that's not going to work. The other problem that I've got is uh, in the summer I had a machine here and I wanted to put in the underwater cold water pipes so they didn't freeze. Um, but that hasn't happened either. So filling this with a hose pipe, minus 10, well, we'll see. We'll see. We might have to feed it with hot water just to stop it from freezing. But anyway, it might not be minus 10 on the 10th of February, uh, 10th of uh, November. It, it, it might not be. It might be nice and warm on the 10th of November. Anyway, there we go. That's the result. That's going to look really good up there. And like I say, we have to have this wire on here. Otherwise, the build-up of ice is going to sit right up here and it will just smash that lot off. So I haven't got anything from the inside. Um, 
my biggest concern is making sure I can get it through there, through this timber without any blackening and burning of the timber. So, uh, and then we'll trim it underneath probably afterwards. So, yeah. Okay, and I'll clean this out when I put this here, and I'm assuming, albeit a tiny, oh yeah, that's nice and clean. A little bit of dust in there, we'll soon have that cleaned out. Ready to go. Right, the old stain. This will stop now it's underneath, but, yeah. It's a real struggle getting anything to stick. Underneath there will be all right. I mean, this just looks fantastic. This will all stick, but anything that's exposed outside, it's just, it's just a problem. However, the decking stain, yeah, that stayed on this time. I did have to do this twice because the first stuff we put on here, just, it just came right off. Now there's a little bit coming off. Just a tiny bit, but not so bad. Anyway, that's it for today. We're gonna call it, get me gloves for my hands freeze. Nice new boots. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll install that. And uh, we can't light it to test it because it's got no water in it. We could uh, chuck something nasty and smoke it in, I suppose, but anyway, it'll work. Right, so next morning, and uh, it's the day for the chimney to go up. Oh, look, there's a strap holding a ladder. Strap to finished work holding the ladder. It's two degrees. Wet, there's leaves everywhere, it's windy. Yeah, I'm breaking all my own rules. My own rules are, this time of year, you should be finishing up your own work, working inside. You shouldn't be out here doing this, don't like it, my fingers are going cold. <sighs> Why am I complaining? It's gonna be minus 30 in a couple of weeks. Right, well this is what I've got. Am I complaining or I'm just having a whinge? Yeah. Let me show you what I've got here. So there's no question I'm coming off this roof. There's no question I'm coming off the roof. So what I've done is I'll put this ladder up here. So I'll put a strap down to one of the big legs there. That's not going anywhere. All right. That's not for climbing up. That's just to support myself and give myself a little bit of assurance on the way down that I've done everything I could do to avoid going all the way down as fast as possible. And I've been off this roof twice. Anyway, don't fancy it. I'm with my new back. Anyway, let's get up there. And of course, the other thing, um, right, it's really important to think about when I'm doing this, I've got a diameter of 150 mil hole to put through that, that roof. It's not round, is it? It's elliptical. Yeah, I'm gonna have to calculate that in my hand at the time I'm sawing the hole, that elliptical hole, because I don't have anything to, yeah, I could have done a little template this morning if I thought about it, but anyway, I didn't, so here we go. Time to fit the, time to fit the chimney. Um, here we go, everything we need, should be good. It'll be good when I get my gloves back on. It takes a while, it just takes a while. You know, uh, minus 20, I'll go outside, I'll work, no problem. In fact, I prefer working when it's minus 17 and minus 20. But in the morning, before I venture up, I have to have two or three goes of getting the blood flowing through my fingers. And once they're going, they're great all day. Anyway, this is gonna be a good one today. I'm looking forward to getting this done.
play number five or six. Can't remember. Anyway, the old sawzall, that does the job. It's just a bit grass, if you know what I mean. It's a bit um it's a bit of an animal. So uh if you stuck down a mine at Sarah Gordo, sawzall's a good thing to have. Normally I'd have chisels and all manner of other wonderful things to be able to do this. But um I'd emptied my van for the winter. So when you go go out and do any site work in the winter, obviously uh, take all your tools and stuff out of the van. And um, I might have neglected to put some chisels on this morning. There's probably a few things I neglected this morning. My own health and safety being one of them. I hurt my back putting that chimney in there. That's, that's just stupid. That's hurt my back. Oh. You know, that's looking there. Uh, <laughs> It's looking very much upright. Well, it would be because I'm holding this. Let me, uh, let me get a spirit now. There, and that's not far off the same height, about a metre above the ridge. Okay, we've obviously got a box in around that. Well, I knew that. I knew that would be the case, but on the whole, not bad. It's kind of got that rustic industrial look, but too much see the caps come off of that still sitting up there show really when we get storms here we get storms bad right let's see if we can secure that off in position this is the view from the top sorry about the wind noise not a lot i can do there so i've got some sorting out to do there we need to put the profile in underneath there to stop the rain from running inside we need to box it all in and then we need to get some more securing anchors into that. But it's there, but it's upright. Okay, let's do some of the finishing off works. So I'm not quite sure what's not exactly in line there whether the hot tub needs a little bump one way just to straighten that up we've got another section of pipe to go up here so the idea is now when we take this section off this section once we've got it straight we put the first section up there with all the insulation in around it and push it all the way up inside Then you connect this piece to that and then down to there. 
Okay, so I'm back in the shop now. And um, I've got this bit of, it was a corner post. Uh, and I don't know where you can see it, the sun's at a funny angle. But I kind of marked out what I need to encase that chimney on the roof. Um, and I'm gonna use this as a flange for screwing or rivet into the main plate. I just need to cut this out now and then we can clip it and cut it and bend it. Right, there we go. I didn't film the process. I know, but that's what we have. So what we should have is a distance from there to there of 500, 200 to nothing distance across the back of 500 200 deep 200 to nothing on 500 I've left it loose because I'm gonna fix it all together in situ um, and I'm not sure whether it's gonna fit better going over the top of the lip or better going underneath the lip but um, anyway that's ready to go and fit now so we're back to site to do that can't say the uh, bitumen I've used is a job I'm particularly proud of, but given the temperature, I actually think it went better than... I actually think, if we don't fall off the ladder, it went better than... I thought it was going to... So we're about two degrees now. And that's uh, all encased and sealed off. The roof has dried out. And it beats dryest thing in the world but anyway they'll get grippy in a minute and we'll be away right so while I was up here I've put the top back on that chimney there and this one is uh, fixed and sealed all the way around that's back to there that's up to there and tore it off. All right. So I was quite keen to get everything done on the roof because this is the last day I can get on the roof. So that's all fixed off, screwed down. I'll take the ladders down now. I've got a few tiny little creases in this roof here. I've just got to square off and um, we're good all the way around on that. Done. Now we can uh, move our attentions to inside. Here, I'm happy with that. It's way over the top. It's too good a chimney to have up there, but if you're going to have a good chimney, you might as well have it on a building like that. And for that, I have no doubt. Cleared the bird's nest out of that. Put the top back on up there. Now we're gonna finish off our work under here. I'm gonna make something back at the shop for this, but I wanna connect all this up and get it straight and get it where I'm happy. So that's our next job.
Well, I'm glad I did. No point in doing that. There's nothing in there. Oh. Pie pie made. Looks better than the original. Anyway, so the idea now is, obviously I've still got to do this bit of trim, I've mentioned that. That's now insulated. The inner pipe is insulated from the outer pipe and the outer pipe. Because it's thick stainless steel and it's insulated, it won't get hot. Won't get hot enough to cause any damage to that. To that roof, even with the trim. All right. Yeah, turned out the same height. I don't know how I do that. I do. And that's it. Two days of intensity. I don't know what the time is, we're losing light. Can't be far off freezing again now. I have had enough. But that's that job done. Don't need to get up onto the reef in the wet. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, don't cost you nothing if you're not already. And uh, yeah, we'll join you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye for now.